Unfortunately, Curdy is cooked. We're not going to make it to the top. It's uh, it's pretty hot today. I've got plenty of water and uh, got his water bowl. It's not enough with his breathing issues. He's been to the top probably over a dozen times. Um, too hot, but I'll give you a look look at the top anyway and around the other side at the eagle. You must admit, it's a damn good playground slash office out here for a few hours. Hey bud, I've just washed my bike, shammied her down, I found uh, a broken bolt, found a broken bolt in there that holds all that um, forward controls on and it also holds the master cylinder on. It's a double sided bolt, uh, that's not it, there it is, it's a, so it screws into there like so and it's broken and then the master cylinder screw, screws onto that. But I don't need you to help me with that. What I do need you to help me with is this bar that goes on. You can see there, this one here has snapped off and it's fucking chafing around pretty bad. So I need 
There's plenty of room on the outside. It doesn't need to be perfectly shaped or anything. There's actually more than my finger spare. So we need something that thick, like a thick washer or whatever cut in half and uh, weld it on there so that um, that can go back on me bike. Because not only is that sometimes good for a footrest, it's also good, it shows me exactly how wide the bike is when I'm going through traffic, other than the handlebars, missing mirrors and stuff. Uh, it's also good if the bike ever falls off the stand to, to not damage anything else. So there it is, that's her. Yeah, it's obviously broken. I'd say what's happened is the bolts come loose and it's chafed from vibration and it's put a crack in it and it's eventually snapped. I did find the bit here a couple of weeks ago and I didn't know what it was off until I washed the bike today and found it. So hopefully I can drop that off in the morning, get one of your blokes to sort that out. And uh, I've got to chase that bolt up because without that bolt, I can't ride it. I won't ride it unless those brakes are perfect. Well, been in the shed for about an hour and a half fixing this old girl. I found two broken bolts in that um, only because I washed it. When I washed it and got in around there with the sponge, uh, I felt the whole forward control, which is all this area here, and the brakes had one bolt in it instead of three. So got lucky there, but uh, the main purpose for this little clip is it's just gone one hour until my 6 p.m. 120 hour fast is complete. It's day five. I feel probably better than any other day ever. That's surprising. You would think the opposite considering no food and no uh, you know, nutrition and uh, I've still been doing quite a bit of exercise and uh, I'm in the shed working and it's friggin' hot and steamy and um, just had my son here, I was helping him lift some stuff out on his ute in the raw sun. And, you know, it just goes to show just how much we all overeat. We think we need the energy, we think we need the food, we think, 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 and most of it's BS. Um, we need small amounts of nutrients, if that, and plenty of water. We all tend to eat uh, emotional eating and emotional drinking. It's because of the amount of pleasure we get out of the palate in our mouth in regards to what we eat and what we drink, period. You don't need all the food that we all stuff our faces with week in, week, week out. It's just an absolute load of crap. But anyway, I've proved it. It is what it is. Um, you know, you've seen it all in the in the past videos that I've done, and uh, it's all 100% what I said. I've di I did. I've done. I'm I'm not that type of person that goes around the other way and you know makes up the BS. It's all factual. I would bet my life on it. What I said, I done. I done, and the facts are what they are. So the trouble is, we get on different platforms on the internet. And yet all you're doing is filling your head up full of someone else's opinion. And then you jump on another one, it's someone else's opinion, someone else's opinion. And it goes on and on and on. Before you know it, you've got no idea what you're thinking about. It just turns into a soup of rubbish. So um, anyway, that's, that's the facts for me. My little five eights down there. We're just gonna pack up these tools and uh, go and wash my hands and have a shower. I might walk him around the block and my hour will be up. It'll be 6 p.m. And I'll be sitting down like a bloody king having a feed. I've got, Margaret's got steak, um, a seafood platter, and a couple other things to do with fruit and veggies. And I uh, can't remember what the other thing was, but full of nutrition. They're all just little snacks. And I'll probably have something then in a couple of hours just more so for pleasure for the palate. And uh, tomorrow we've organized two boiled eggs with fingers, which is your toast cut into four pieces, uh, just to dunk in the yolk. So that's it for breakfast. 
That'll be a coffee, then I'm up at the Roadhouse having a coffee with the Geelong Bobber boys. I promised them I'd come up there and have a coffee with them. And uh, bike night tomorrow night on the waterfront in Geelong. Uh, and then we've got the big mental health awareness ride on Sunday, going to Apollo Bay and back into Geelong from Corio. So that'll be huge. That's all to do with Danny Hayes, the million dollar bogan man and his team. And there's heaps of us supporting him. So, um, you know, Sunday that's gonna happen. That's gonna be huge. They're expecting over 1,000 riders. So it's gonna be a big day. Hopefully the weather's good and uh, everybody that needs it, hopefully they get something out of it because that's what it's all about. We're here to help others, period. So, uh, Falcor's back on the road. She's ready to go Sunday. Big ride, always reliable. She never, ever lets me down, never fails to get me home, and that's all I can ask. So, anyway. That's the starter, that's the entree. Get out of the fridge, Curdy. Oi, move. We've got five minutes to go. Marge is on the job, ain't you, love? Yeah, final touches. We're almost there, aren't we? Oh, yes, you are. Ooh, ooh. Nice bit of salad. The mushroom sauce is getting ready. The ribeyes are getting ready with the garlic inside it. Oh, yeah. It's, um, it's all about to happen. The countdown's uh, just over five minutes, and we are hot to trot. It's two, four, six, eight. And believe me, I'm ready to go. <laughs> Well, there you go. Some of you will remember that uh, the smaller bolt, 3.8 that end and quarter this end. It's uh, 
What I done was I went and got a length of thread at 3 8 and screwed it in where I needed it. Got the length and I've cut it off. So now instead of that bolt being quarter, it's uh, 3 8. And I had to drill the hole out in the master cylinder by not even a millimetre to make the master cylinder slide onto that bolt. And then uh, the original bolt back in here. So it's gone back together and I'm confident it's 100% safe. A thicker bolt in there could even mean it's engineered a fraction better, but um, I won't claim that. But yeah, I've just got the little uh, the clip to put in down there on the brake lever itself, right in there. And uh, drop the old fancy cover back on there with the two nuts. And uh, we are race ready for Saturday, guaranteed, after Sunday. Race ready for Sunday. Here we go. There she is, just having a rest. There she is, Brizzy. Have a go at her, mate. She's all back on. The repairs I've had to do are all fixed. And uh, she bloody doesn't look too bad either. What do you reckon? She doesn't look too bad for an old girl. Does the trick. Oh, what's that? Hang on, can you hear that? If you have a close listen, you can actually hear her breathing. Yeah, did you, you would have heard that. You can hear her just. Almost as silent as an angel. But that's her, she, uh, what? Oh, hear that? What's that, sweetheart? We're gonna give Brizzy a fucking hiding on Sunday. That's what she said. Brizzy's gonna get a hiding from the light. <laughs> Have a look at her go, brother. Hey, look how fast she is. She's not even fucking revving. Hey guys, just gave the bike a wash and discovered a broken bolt that's got to go back exactly right. It's related to the brakes for safety. So on the master cylinder, it's the bolt that goes through there. It comes through from the other side and the bit that's snapped off goes in there. Right, so that sits in the frame and then the master cylinder slides onto that bolt with the other bolt down there that comes through from the other side. But that bolt there that's broken, it's a 97 uh, Fat Boy Evo. If anyone knows anybody that's got old bikes or whatever, that could help me out with that bolt ASAP. They're obsolete at Harley, I can't get one. So, uh, Rollies in Queensland have got one, but I can't get one till next week. So, I'm after that bolt, second hand bolt, if anyone can help me please.